Well, I guess a shout out goes to NF Strike for helping make this video possible because they kind of sent me the stuff that made this video possible. So thank you to them. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and today we are going to have a somewhat review and bluster build video. Um, a lot of the stuff that's going to be showcased in this video was actually sent to me by NF Strike. Uh, they reached out to me if I wanted to review a couple of their things, and I said, sure, why not? I uh, got everything in a pretty timely fashion, about two weeks shipping from time order was placed to me actually getting everything, so thank you very much for everything. Uh, what we're going to be doing is because I got sent the new worker clips, uh, the 18 round or 20 round clips, along with a couple of the metal internal parts. And what we're going to be putting those into is actually this Sonic Ice Retaliator I just uh, got myself recently. Now, this one is in not working condition, which is kind of the prime reason why I'm actually modding this one. The slide on this thing is jammed. I have no blessed idea why. Trigger works fine, and as you can tell, the plunger is not primed, so I really have no idea what the hell happened to this thing. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to gut it. We're going to look at the parts that I got and showcase everything and do a kind of a build on it. So hope you enjoy. Let's go to the workbench. Okay, so here we have everything, well, with the exception of this, that uh, NF Strike had actually sent me. Uh, they sent me all four versions of the new extended Talon mags. Uh, these are actually very well constructed. Uh, definitely, it shows the worker quality of things. Uh, they have four colors, blue, clear, black, and orange. They are supposed to be 18 round magazines. Um, and it even says so right there. 18 rounds. However, uh, with playing around with these things, you can actually fit 20 in them very easily, surprisingly. So while it says to load 18, you can actually fit 20 in here, which is really, really nice. Now, comparatively, and I'll show this against the blue versus blue, the magazines are not that much bigger than the 15 round talons, which isn't that terribly bad. So you're not going to have to worry about prob probably more than not you wouldn't have to worry about getting any kind of like new patches or whatever because the actual worker patch i have is kind of these are actually kind of short on these so these would actually be probably perfect for it uh going over the looks of them you can see obviously um the original talons have this very nice brush textured finish on them where the new extended ones are completely transparent uh, the only opacity or opaqueness that they have on here is right where they actually say worker on them and that's really it uh, it does also say 18 rounds and which way to load them on both sides of the magazine so that's actually really neat whereas the original ones it's just the only markings on them are 15 and the worker logo down on the one side and the other side is completely blank this was added myself so but yeah these are actually very well built magazines you can fit the dark you can fit two extra rounds in here without jamming them so that is actually really really cool and i really like these things so i may wind up actually picking up a couple others either in the blue or orange um personally i'm not a big fan of these two colors just for clear everyone can see how many rounds you have left fine uh the black ones i you know what to me that just it's it screams milsim and i know that's not what the hobby's about it's what others may like other people like it that's fine i am not crapping on it in any way shape or form it's just not my thing so those are fine but if i do get any of them these would be the ones i would wind up getting in the future and depending on how well this build goes, uh, possibly a pump grip and a couple more of these along the in the future and all. Now, the parts that I got for the Retaliator are 
and again, this was also provided by NF Strike, so again, thank you, are the upgraded bolt sled, and I believe it did come with the spring. A metal attachment point, so which it will replace that. And since I have that, I'm going to need something that the bolt is going to work with. So I also got the metal bolt and uh, barrel. So now I took this off of the Pork Shop Express uh, solely because I want to try and see if I can get the uh, pump grip to work with what I have here. If I can, awesome. If not, oh well. Uh, the bolt sled does come with these extra bits and bobs. Now, I will be 100% honest. Oh, never mind. I figured out what this is. Uh, it comes with a pin to put the uh, slide, or not the slide, the breech on. And it also comes with these two um, nuts, which I'm assuming are actually for the worker uh, priming grip. But my Gavin Fuzzy, the at least the hardware that came with the Gavin Fuzzy one, does work with these. So I'm going to attempt to try and use those. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I will hopefully be able to get it to work. Because I don't want to have to open up the Pork Chop Express to get those brackets out. So, and I believe this is the 9 kilogram spring. So it will definitely give a good boost to the setup. The metal uh, bolt, so which in turn also works with this piece, which is your the other end of the breech. So, um, yeah, I mean it's not too much different from the uh, what was it the injected molded version that I got. It's just these are actually cast out of a aluminum I want to say the other difference is where the casted one the barrel on there is what you got but I have this barrel which actually you can attach either the short one or I have another one from foam blast which actually has a longer barrel so I might be trying out both of them to see you know how well everything works so let's get this thing opened up and start putting everything together and actually Okay, so glad I have that other, um, the other uh, kit because I believe this hole and actually looking at it is actually misaligned. So it's not letting this breach actually sit properly, which really kind of sucks because that means I'd have to basically redraw that hole in order to actually get it to fit right. So. I'll just put it to the side for now and I'll just use uh, the orange one. So uh, the other thing is going to be, since this is going to have a heavier spring load and it actually came with the other kit. So I'm actually bastardizing like three different kits now. Uh, I'm going to use this metal catch. Stay. St okay, that's a very tough spring, so that may actually be po keep popping out until it actually goes back in. So that spring's going to go there, and we'll attach the barrel once I get everything buttoned up. So, yeah, this is the right spring. 
Uh, obviously, I am not going to put the spring in just at the given moment. I'm just going to leave it right there. And what we're going to do now is button it back up. So two hours later. Okay, so I was able to finally get this thing back together. For some reason, this was just a pain in the ass to do for some reason. I honestly no idea why, but once the spring went in, this thing was like near impossible to close. I was half expecting this thing just being cursed and saying to hell with it. But we are, and I tested it and it does prime. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Allen key that came with this front post or the front barrel and we are going to put in the actual barrel and hmm, I'm pretty sure it goes to where it meets the uh, it's supposed to slide to where it actually meets up with the uh, the breech so I'm putting it there and that's a maybe a little longer than what was in the actual um what well, was a little longer than what was in the injected molded version and then you just pop your barrel on and as you can see it doesn't go all the way but we're going to put the uh the Gavin fuzzy grip back on it just because again I have those in there and I will be getting a worker one for these. It's just for now I have to use what I got and that's what I got. So I'm going to put this back on here and then see what this is shooting at. So I'm going to have to get my FPS, uh, my, uh, my Saturn is set up. So yeah, just give me a minute for that and we'll see how this is shooting now. Okay, so I don't have my phone set up to do the actual FPS readings like in the upper corner and all, but I will show it to you when it's done because I just don't have the mount that I normally have my phone tied into to do the double screen. So I apologize, this is a little half-assed, but eh, I, get, I, I do what I can with what I got. So I have my Gavin Fuzzy Pump Grip on here. It is catching. It is... A little harder to prime with this on because again what the hardware that this came with is not designed for this particular grip but I'm gonna do what I can I'm gonna do an average of five shots with this short barrel then I'm actually gonna switch it out and put the long barrel that the orange kit came with and just see if there's a difference or if there's anything better with it so and we're gonna be using the 20 round worker mag uh and it's all loaded with worker darts as well so i figured this way come on is this thing not aligned oh no Okay, so this has just been a weird afternoon of things not working right. Um, what I did was, is I actually went and I moved the worker parts that were in the Sonic Ice Retaliator into my Retaliator because one, the Gavin P Fuzzy Pump Grip works with it. And two, I want to see what I'm getting out of it. Now... I didn't move everything. I've moved the aluminum barrel, the aluminum uh, breech, the breech and the front part of the breech. And right now this has the short barrel in it. So I'm going to do an FPS test with that. Now I have two of the new worker mags here. I have the blue one, which is full of worker gen three darts. And this is a at 20 capacity. And just to see how well they work, I decided to throw some of the adventure force pro darts into the orange one. So I don't have my, um, 
my phone set up to actually show the actual screen of it, but I am going to write down the FPS readings as they come out. And pardon the mess, my workbench is usually not this bad, but again, it's been a special kind of day. So we're going to do the worker gen three darts since these are all worker parts. I figured it's the best way to start it off. Right, that was 136. One twenty nine, one twelve, one seventeen, and one thirty four for an average of one twenty six. And that didn't really focus right, but. I apologize, like I said, this has been a weird day, so you know what, I'm going to throw in the worker darts and see what those are doing at. Or not the worker, the... The pro darts. So, this is going to be the Adventure Force Pro Darts. 134... Ooh, that's 160. Didn't read. Again, 160. 152. 124. And that was 170. So, surprisingly, the actually, honestly, not surprising at this point, but because these things are phenomenal darts. Uh, Adventure Force Pro is actually hitting in the 160s out of this thing. So, you know what? Let me swap the barrel out and see if we can get, if the performance gets any better on this one. So this was a weird kind of review video. Um, yeah, it was nothing so much with the products. Well, with the exception of the breach. Um, nothing else seemed to have gone right to this afternoon, and I really don't know why. Uh, it's not like I'm new to this. It's like I kind of know what the hell I'm doing. But, yeah, other than the breach, um, yeah, I really, I really have no explanation of what the hell kind of went wrong this afternoon. Uh, the Sonic Ice Retaliator, I am not going to touch again until I can get a proper worker... Uh, pump grip for it because that bolt sled won't work without it really i can sort of kind of get it to work with my gavin fuzzy grip but because it doesn't have the proper hardware on there and i really can't switch it out now it really is not going to work right um the bolt sled is or not the bolt sled the the breach that's nothing that can really be helped that really is a manufacturer error um so I reached out to see what can be done with it. If when I do hear back, I will definitely either add a note here in the video itself, or I'll just make a pin a comment down below because this is probably going to go up sooner than I may actually hear back. I don't know. So we'll see where that goes from there. As far as the other things go, uh, those magazines are actually really nice and the fact that they're not too much longer than the actual, the, you know, the standard worker talents, the 15 rounders. And the fact that those would probably fit in the worker talent pouches a lot easier. I may or may not actually just get a couple of those just so I can run them on that. Um, but I really haven't decided yet because between my Nexus Pro, the Dart Zone Pro and, uh, my pork chop express i know i need more mags i just don't know what i'm going to get so if i do get any uh specifically just for this i may actually pick up some of these just be more uh just because i just want my mags to match because i mean i have four of them now which is totally fine because i have four normal talents but just because it's the different colors and all i just want it to be kind of uniform so 
but I like them. Uh, who knows? Maybe I might actually get the orange ones just so I know those are the extended ones instead of blue. Uh, but other than that, everything else was really good. The In regards to the uh, ship time from NF Strike, I got everything in about two weeks. And from what I've told, that's about on par of what they shoot for. So a two-week delivery window, especially from coming overseas, really isn't that bad. That's actually honestly on the upper echelon of actually being really good for shipping um ooh, excuse me as far as everything else is, goes i again things just failed and i don't know why but it works great but you know the parts work great in the pork chop express and i mean there's nothing really more i can say about that then so that's where i'm going to end it for this video so if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, uh, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've actually dealt with NF Strike recently, and if so, what are your thoughts on them? And, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when we're doing our silliness here on the channel. Again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.